There we go. We got him. This is a good one. Pull and drag, dude. Ladies and gents, what is freaking popping? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's episode. And no, guys, don't freak out. You're not seeing a ghost. You're not hallucinating. This is real life. Robin Reel is actually uploading a YouTube video for you guys at home to enjoy. Now, before I talk about where the heck I've been, where I've been in my absence, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what you guys are about to watch. So, as you guys saw from that little intro, we hooked a pretty dang good fish. Now, I'm recording this the day after. There are also some fish catches from today when I'm recording this um, that you guys will enjoy. And uh, yeah, we caught a very, very good fish. Um, so I hope you guys stick around, stay tuned for that big fish um, because that was at a very urban spot, a spot that I haven't fished too much. Um, but we got lucky. We got lucky. The sun came out, we saw her on her bed, took a couple flips at her, and eventually she ate. Now that that's out of the way, um, I'm gonna tell you where I've been. Now, as you guys know, I am a full-time student. I am in school. And well, school's gotten really busy. I haven't had much time to fish. Um, so that's, that's where I've been. Uh, for two months, that's where I've been. I've been at school. Um, I've been trying to fish. I've been trying to film, but either my files get corrupted. Like I caught a five pounder last week, which is on my Instagram. I tried filming too, um, but come to find out, I go on my GoPro, I look at the video that I had recorded of me catching that fish, and it was recorded in time-lapse. But we got a video for you guys now, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, now that my two-month absence is behind me and that I'm out of the grave, out of the YouTube algorithm grave, um, I am glad to be back. I've missed you guys so much. I hope you guys missed me as well. But now we're out with some content again that I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So go ahead and sit back, relax and enjoy as we try to catch some spring bass. Yes, I said spring. Spring is upon us in Texas. And what more evidence do you need of some good old fashioned bed fishing, which is what we did in this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the footage that I have gathered for you guys of some good old Texas spring pond bassing. Enjoy. All right, guys. So we are fishing at the very first spot of the day. What I'm gonna do is the water's kind of dark. It has like almost a dark tint to it. I don't know if that's just because of the grass that's at the bottom of the pond. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw around my chatterbait. I just saw fish spook off. He was pretty small though. I am going to start off by throwing the chatterbait and uh, we're gonna see if we can walk up on some on beds. And once we do, I'll hit him with the old one-two punch, hit him with the old Texas rig, the chatterbait and the Texas rig are by far my two favorite lures to be throwing this time of year. And they are just super efficient, especially when you use them together. Chatterbait to cover some water, um, Texas rig to flip some structure or pick off some bed fish. So hopefully that's what we do in today's video. Eat it. There we go, we got him. Get up here. He's a little bit bigger than I thought, actually. The colors on this guy are crazy, too. Super green fish. Relax, 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 relax. He's just mad, dude. We got him good, too. Right in the roof of the mouth, right where you want it. All right, got him undone. First fish of the day. Gotta freaking love it. We're gonna go ahead and take a picture for Fish Brain. Send him on his merry way. And hopefully we come across some more fish. So hopefully we come across some bigger ones too. But this is just to get the monkey off of our back, just to get the ball rolling. We're gonna go ahead and set him back right where we caught him. Thank you, buddy. And back you go, back to your bed. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would, honestly. We pulled up to this fish and he was fired up from the jump. Like he was ready to go. Um, we did have to play him a little bit. Eventually, obviously we did get him to eat the crack and crawl, which is awesome. So that's the very first fish of the day. We haven't fished much of this pond at all, to be honest. Jackson's here with me. He's all the way down there. I've been focusing on this little fish for probably 15 minutes or so, but we have yet to fish the spots that I really want to fish. Um, 
such as the other side of the pond. There's like a rock wall dam over there that we haven't fished yet that I'm really eager to try. So we're gonna go ahead, cover some water with the chatterbait until we get to those juicy looking spots. And then we might flip a crawl around and see what we can pull out of here. So that's the first fish of the day again. Gotta love it. Um, great feeling to finally catch a fish on a bed. And I think he's right back to where we caught him. So he's back on his bed. He's he's chilling. He's all ready to go. All ready to do his spawning thing. Hopefully that big female pulls up later today. And maybe we get to pick her off as well. And I'm sorry if you guys can't really hear me that well. Um, over all the car noise. I mean, this is a super urban spot. I mean, there's a busy road right next to us. Um, and we're just catching some bass. So you got to freaking love it. Springtime is here. Get out there if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, hopefully we catch some more. So hope you guys stick around, stay tuned, and enjoy the rest of this video. There's a fry garter right here. There's a fry garter right here. He's like a pound. I I've seen, I've seen a couple of fry garters. Have you seen any like on beds that haven't spawned yet? Uh, yeah, I'm on one over there. I've been fishing for like 40 minutes and uh, he's gone off there a couple of times. He has like black spots all over. How big is he? Like one and a half. Oh, that's how, like I was fishing for one over here that I caught. I caught one that was about one and a half. There's a bunch of like half pound bass that are chasing the like minnows around. Uh-huh. Look at my spinning rod. Okay. Here's the... Wow. I saw, I was going over that bridge and I saw like a tree and a half in the shadow. Over know. this bridge? Oh, that bridge right there, yeah. Huh. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. Look at this fish. There we go. We got him. Little fry garter. Get up here. There we go. Number two of the day, also on the crack and crawl. We're gonna go ahead and get them back quick because this one was guarding some fry. Don't want those fry to get eaten. Great fish. Thank you. One look at them. We're gonna go ahead and send them back. All right, let's go ahead and get them sent back quick so he can attend to the fry. Back you go, buddy. Well, guys, that last fish that you guys just saw was a fry garter meaning that that fish was in post spawn that fish had already spawned the male and female had already come up made their bed laid their eggs the eggs have already hatched and those fish are now swimming around and they're being protected by the male that was the male that we picked off a fry garter is essentially a male bass that has like the female has already come in and spawned laid the eggs and dipped the male stays around protects the young and protects the young from prey like bluegills or craws or anything like that and in texas right now we're in kind of a weird spot like some of these fish are pre-spawn some of these fish are actively spawning and then some of these other fish are post-spawn which that fish that we just caught was a prime example of but we're looking for the ones that are locked on beds we're looking for the ones that are actively spawning unless unless we can get them to eat like that post-spawner He's right on it. Eat it. There we go. We got him. Get out of that, get out of that. This is a good one. Pull and drag, dude. This is a good fish. Oh, I have him hooked in the head, bro. This is a good fish, though. Dude, he is fat, bro. That is a football. He might be three. He's gonna be three just because of how fat he is. I don't know, he might go four. He is fat. How'd you hook him in the head? I don't know, dude. He like went after it. Do you have pliers? Oh, we're good, we're good. I mean, dude, that, that is a 
freaking chunky fish. It's an absolute football. We're gonna go to wait on him real quick. He might, I mean, I bet he's high threes. This fish has the length of like a high two, but might be pushing four just because of how fat she is. Dude, yeah. She's like four and a quarter. 2.9 kilograms or 2.09 kilograms. That's a freaking chunk, dude. God, that fish is so fat, dude. And off she goes. Maybe it's something with like the fish and hair have just have black spots. Maybe. That release is on my Instagram, so go ahead and check that out for your boy. The link will be in the description. Pictures, video of that fish will be on my Instagram. Um, it'll also be on Fish Brain. I like to use Fish Brain to kind of track my numbers, so go ahead and follow me on Fish Brain as well. All those links to go ahead and check out those pages are in the description below, so go ahead and check those out for your boy it means the world. Now I've officially made my return. I'm back from the dead. Jackson, is he there? He can't hear me. But there was about a five pounder up here by Jackson, so. <sighs> the land of giants, I guess. Well guys, we have run out of time, but luckily for you, I'm gonna go out later this evening, see if I can pick off some more bedfish at some different spots. But for now, I'm gonna kind of relax. Um, maybe get some lunch, get something like that. But that is a great way to end the morning session on a four and a half, close to five pounder. Just so thankful we got that fish in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later this evening, hopefully, with an even bigger fish in my hands. I'll see you then. All right, guys, so it is the next day after filming what you guys just watched. And I hope you guys did enjoy that because we actually caught a pretty, pretty nice fish yesterday. One of my biggest fish in a long time. I see a fish up shallow right now, actually. Oh shoot, he's gonna, he's gonna eat, dude. This fish is gonna eat, guys. Maybe. He's giving it some bites where he's kind of annoyed. He doesn't really want to eat it. He's just a little bit annoyed by it. We're getting him to turn every time though. And he's nipping at it every time too. We can definitely catch this fish. Okay, he's got it this time. Uh, drag slipped, oh freaking course. Drag slipped. Always check your drag. <laughs> we didn't hook him though, so we're fine. There he is again. Yep. Here we go. There we go, got him that time. Got him that time. Get up here, baby boy. Baby boy. <laughs> Why'd I call you baby boy? I don't know, but thanks for eating. There we go, guys. Fish number one of the day. Not a, not a, not a giant, but very, very good to get the monkey off our back. Came right out too. First fish of the day. We're gonna go ahead, get him released, send him back. Send him back right to his bed. I'm seeing a bunch of fish up shallow, so we're gonna go ahead and get this dude back on his bed. And we're gonna fish the rest of the perimeter of the pond, see if we can catch some more. I'm seeing some pretty good ones, but it's great to start with this fish because we've been fishing for probably five to 10 minutes. Great start. Let's keep at it. Let's go ahead and send him back. All right, his bed was right over here. We're gonna go ahead, set him, give him a little toss. There he goes, bye-bye. Gave us a quick little wave. And uh, he's right back on his bed, right back where we caught him. That's always super important when you're bed fishing this time of year. Make sure these, make sure these fish get put back exactly where you caught them. Don't take them too far away from their bed because that could definitely disrupt the whole spawning process. And uh, you don't really want to do that. But that is most definitely an excellent start. I saw a pretty good one, probably about a, a two to two and a half on a bed and we're gonna see if we can try to pick him off real quick and hopefully hopefully find a couple more up shallow
There we go. We got him now. We got him now. Flip him on up here. There we go. We got him. That's fish number two of the day. Boom. Little one on a bed. Again, we're going to go ahead, send him back right now. Get him back as quick as we can. But that is fish number two that fell victim to the bandito bug. His bed's right here. We're going to go ahead and send him back right now. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video because I know I certainly enjoyed making it for you guys. Um, if you did enjoy it, it would mean the world to me if you went down, left a big old thumbs up. Um, it really helps out the channel a bunch. Uh, it lets me also know that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you wanna see more videos like this. If you do wanna see more bed fishing content, also you could drop a comment, let your boy know and I will make it happen. And to wrap up this video, I just wanna say that almost five pound fish that we caught absolutely made my freaking week. That was a clutch catch. That was so clutch. The sun eventually came out. As you guys saw, it actually started out cloudy that day. And the sun eventually came out. You can see a little bit deeper in the water of some fish that were making their beds a little bit out deep. Um, but we got her to eat. Got her to eat the bandito bug. The bandito bug and the crack and crawl came in big time. Came in mega for this video. One more time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it's spring. It's spring here in Texas. The bass are doing their little spawning thing. And uh, it's time to get after it. It's time to freaking grind because now is the time of year that you can catch some big fish. It was actually this time last year in April that I caught my personal best, which still is my personal best to this day. And I hope you guys go out there and catch some bodacious bass of your own because like I said many times in this video, I can't convey this message enough. It is spring, the time of the year to catch some Texas brutes. So with that being said, this is Robin Real officially saying my goodbye. And I'm out of here, and I'll see you guys next week on the channel again. Peace.